good, buddy. How are you? My man? pleasure. Make sure you're perfect, perfect, perfect. Welcome to the Mill Valley Film Festival, number one. Thank you for number two, you. number two, I've seen the film, and it's very, very challenging. It's well made. There was one scene that it wanted me, I wanted to jump through into the, into the movie. Yeah. Um, when sh sh the dad said, there's only, there's two things you get to do when you're the boss. How did you create that safe space for the young Otis? Right. Um, Noah Jupe, who's uh, an incredible actor, and I sometimes say he was the most mature person on set, which is kind of a testimony probably to all of us, too. But um, he was he comes from a family that is extremely uh, supportive and healthy. His mother, Katie Jupp, was a big part of the process, and uh, we worked with him a lot. Him and Shia developed a very, very strong relationship prior to the film, so he wasn't just thrown into it. Um, he came in two months earlier. They spent every day together, uh, you know, learning how to juggle and playing cards and going to baseball games, and they developed a very strong friendship, so when they came into that room, they felt really safe with each other and that was I think the most important thing that we've done and other than that we just made sure that when we film it we're very much taking care of Noah and making sure that he's aware of the whole process so we're not creating Honey Boy 2 if you may. Uh, so I mean I feel like now going into the festivals and seeing him and Shia together and spending time together we're like family so it's it's been really cool to see you know the, the bond and the connection that was made on this set is kind of unbreakable. Now, how does Shia or you approach him for this film? Because it's very challenging to put, quote, your life on the screen and have people critique it. Yeah, I mean, I think that when you put yourself out there in that kind of way as an artist, you have to really be aware that you might get critiqued. And Shia was very scared of that. And he also just got, you know, diagnosed with PTSD prior to that, which has to do a lot with fear and the feeling of being judged. Um, so it was just like a day at a time, as they say in the rooms, you know. We just had to kind of make sure that there's a healthy, supportive environment on set, um, that there's a therapeutic value that we take beyond the set. And then after that, we kind of like had to make sure that as we... <laughs> that's Byron Bowers, sir. He plays Lucas Hedges in, uh, in, in, in the film, in rehab. Um, so I think... Shia really has taken a big chance on this film and you could see when you watch the film that we kind of I think did something that goes beyond cinema in terms of the therapeutic value of it if you may and like there was kind of almost a feeling of like some exorcism you know like you kind of let all the demons out and really see what happens and what happened was FKA Twigs so her first acting role she was I think a dynamic how did you direct her she does Fantastic videos. How did you direct? Yeah, uh, Twix joined us really close to the shoot. She did an amazing job jumping right in, and she worked uh, with Noah and had a lot of rehearsals with him. Um, a lot of the physical stuff was obviously easier to her because she's just such a brilliant artist and a dancer. And then in terms of the other scenes, it was she worked a lot with a woman in the film. Uh, that plays Mama DJ, who was a woman who really survived a similar background. And uh, their work together, I think, was really crucial and important to the fact that they look so co close and real on screen. So that was kind of our focus. Okay, me the hook. Thank you, Alma. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. How's it going, my friend? How you doing? Great. Fantastic. Tell us your name. And I, I've seen the film. And you are like the older Otis's rock, telling him how to do that thing. How did that work for you? Uh, my name is Byron Bowers, and playing oldest roommate uh, in rehab, um, to me, my goal was to ground him um, because he's a celebrity and he thinks he's doing hard time. And I'm like, no, this is a hard time at all. Yes. Like, I know people doing hard time right now, you know, mm -hmm. so yes. you need to relax and really understand how privileged you are because you get to stay in rehab for the whole time. You know, I only got a month. You know, so um, I think it was a very important character. And we all have these type of characters in our lives. Right. When we get into our own bag or we act a certain way that humbles us, that come out and tell us, look, you need to grow up or you need to do this and that and get your stuff together. So uh, I'm glad I was able to, to be a part of this overall story.